from this area in the East Bay. Jay Jackson, the junior guard, along with Terry Martin, talented freshman. This team is not want for talent. No, th this team does have some talent, and, and, and you look at Jay, uh, Jay Jackson, and he's a guy that it certainly is a, a very good all-around player. We talked about Zeno. And, uh, and, and adore a player that can also pass the ball from the high post. So, you know, th this is a club, and, and you said it, Barry, and we talked about it in the open. They're, they're a dangerous team, and I think a, a basketball team that will get better and better as the year goes on. For San Francisco, they will start with Allen Wiggins, Jerome Gums, good athlete and a good finisher also. Carter will be the center, and he's on again, off again. Surratt, the player's just getting used to playing with him. He picks the tempo of the game up. Ingerson, again, a streaky shooter. If he's on, look out. If he's off, quite honestly, he could shoot you out of it. Well, here's the deal with the University of San Francisco. It's a perimeter-oriented team. And it features two very good guards in Ingerson and Surratt, and Jesse Evans needs both of those players to come up big tonight. And the problem when you play against a Bob Knight team, and you're going to live on the perimeter. They're probably only going to give you one shot, and they're going to make you play defense. And this is a very young USF team, and they, and they may have their hands full defending the perimeter game of Texas Tech. And right now, USF, quite honestly, has been five guys in the basketball. They have not been a solid unit yet. And that's what Jesse Evans was bemoaning when we talk, spoke with him earlier tonight and uh, he's just waiting for this team to come together athletically this is a pretty good basketball team but team is overstating it right now so we are just about set to go Texas Tech as we said uh, a very young basketball team and USF not so much the fact that they're young but there are a lot of guys who have not played together a lot of transfers on this team Texas Tech under Bob Knight will start two freshmen tonight. John Plefka, incidentally, uh, is injured, will not play tonight. We understand did not even make the trip from Lubbock. And he is normally one of their starters. LaQuente White played only one game. He is a potential starter. He will not be back for another two or three weeks. So Bob Knight playing with less than a full deck right now. I, th I think the one key for Bob Knight and Texas Tech is that they've been a great home team. I mean, they've won big time. I'll say in, in Lubbock, uh, you look, and scores have not been close. And, and I think for this team to grow, and that's what they're looking to do, uh, th this would be a good one to get just to just to come in here, uh, travel all the way to the West Coast, which Bob Knight normally does not do. He's come out here to the West Coast now. You know, obviously recruiting uh, Lowhorn and who's right from the East Bay, uh, bringing him back home is a, is a big plus. So I think this is going to be a very good college basketball game. The Dons looking to get on the right track after, after really a slow start. This is Ingerson outside. Dons, as you said, a perimeter team. Carter pops out. Swinging around now for Surratt. Surratt down on the block to Wiggins and a kick out again for Dons. Dons not a great perimeter shooter. Will take it hard to the basket, however. Carter down low. Gums little pump fake. Good job defensively by Zeno to shut him down. And the three-point try by Anderson is no good. Just exactly what Texas Tech would have wanted on the first possession. Man to man, Barry, both teams. And you know, just a just a wide open jumper by, by Dora, who's a guy that we know can make that little 15-foot J. Can't leave him alone. Got a good up and challenge, get a hand in his face. Good 15 to 18 foot range, and he showed it right there. Just a standing J, nothing fancy. Gums in the corner. Lohorn, nice job that time. And a kick out pass for Gums, misses badly. Down with the hands of Lohorn. See if the Don stay man to man or, or, or if they if they zone it up in the back line. They don't want to play against the passing game. It looks like they go zone, two, three zone. So now a recognition test for Texas Tech. And J Jay Jackson, one of the great three-point shooters in the Big 12 Conference. In fact, he probably would have had the conference lead were it not for the fact that he didn't take enough three-point shots to qualify. Carter outside, tried to drop it down, bounced it right off the knee of Wiggins. Uh, first foul. And they will get low on the foul. Well, you can see a little bit of change in, in, in San Francisco. They have lived on the perimeter. They're making a conscious effort to try to get the ball down low, which I think is smart. Pretty good out of bounds play. So actually, Texas Tech just, just got lost on that out of bounds play. Ingerson uh, with an easy one. Back in the zone again. You get a good look at it. 2-3 zone. 
outside. That's Zeno. Zeno could take it to the basket. Long three by Martin. Comes up a little bit short. Part of the rebound for USF. Quick outlet pass to Surratt. Now a lead for Wiggins. Surratt will back it out now. You can see him overplay Surratt's left hand there. Here's Carter down low on the block. Jump hook. And, and he has a pretty good jump hook. Had a big game in, in the loss against uh, Sacramento State. Put up big numbers. And you like that a little bit better than living on the perimeter. That's Zeno. Give it up this time to Dora. Dora leaves it for Zeno down the lane. Couldn't quite finish it, but Zeno runs down the loose ball. Good hustle. Drop this one down for Lohorn, and Lohorn could find the handle. Turnover. Well, you, you, you run the out of bounds play, and the ball's going to come right down for an easy score and look it right up and in, and, and you just leave them all alone. So they run a little screen, and they bring them right down low, and that's just an, an easy score on the out of bounds. Surratt tries a quick three at Lord Doan. Here comes Martin the other way. Martin, nice pass that time for the cutting Zeno. Zeno is cut off, though. Jackson, who's not been much part of the offense so far. He will be. I know he will. He's going to get his. <laughs> Jackson will get hit. Here he is. He's got to be a little bit proactive and got a good look at it that time. Just couldn't get it down. Still a good shot. There's Surratt coming the other way. Raiders, Red Raiders get back on defense, but Dunn's coming off the baseline. Got right around Jackson. Well, if you're Texas Tech, you're thinking mental error right there. Retrace your steps on a miss. Get some court balance. Got to get back defensively and not give any open court transition layups. Lauren with the right hand coming across the paint. Well, Plefkin out here, they give Lowhorn a start. Well, we know he can he, score. He's still we, learning the game, but he can score. To my, to my recollection, though, he's four for four against TCU. I so, think that's right. so, he's on a roll right now. Here comes Zeno. Three on two. Put up Jay off the left side. No good. Ingerson clears. Ingerson open this time. Ingerson and Surratt are very good perimeter players. Now, Ingerson has not shot it that well in the early season, but when he's open, he's a guy that can actually drill it from deep. Well, he had one game last year. He was five of six and another turnover. Here's Surratt, one on two. Surratt leave it for Ingerson. He'll try it again. Got another one. Streaky. Very streaky. And the Dodgers lead by eight. Texas Tech right at the moment, a little bit dead in the water. And I think Barry Texas Tech waiting for the media timeout. They're going to get one on the next dead ball. Martin, or rather Zeno, and he scores it. Jesse Evans. And Surratt was kind of hustling up really fast, and now they're going to get him for a travel. He stops, talks to the coach, and then shuffles his feet. Uh-oh. Bob Knight going to get right in the face of the freshman, Terry Martin. But when you play for Bob Knight, that's how you learn. This time off the break, that's gums off the window. Easy, Don's by six.